Today we're going to look at why you should always check your old wheat pennies because these things that I'm about to show you can make these coins extremely valuable. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Hey, if you guys have a 1942 wheat penny, this is what you want to look for. All right, so we want to focus here on the date. Underneath the date, there is a D met mark. So you'll see that little line above the D met mark. This D met mark has been repunched. It is an RPM, which is a repunched mint mark. Now there are different examples we're gonna go through here, as you can see in the images, that can take place on the 1942 Denver minted wheat penny. So inspect your coins very closely with your coin microscopes. I have those available at the link in the comments below. They are always available at that link. All right, now this coin ended up selling for $840 at auction. Now there's nothing really Really special about having a 1942 wheat penny, but the fact that this has a repunched D mint mark and it is graded at a 67 red, that's what makes it uh, valuable. You know, over $800 for that penny. Now, a lot of people, you know, they don't really collect steel pennies. They, you know, they made so many steel pennies. They made them for one year only in 1943. A lot of them are plated, but you can always look for a repunched D mint mark on the 1943 steel penny as well. This penny sold for over $600. So if we zoom in there on those examples, you can see the different RPMs that can take place on the 1943 steel penny. So always pay attention to those coins. You know, a lot of people just will like sell rolls of these and they won't even search for repunch mint marks or even double dies. There's double dies you can look for on this coin as well. Now let's move on here to a 1944 penny. The very next year, this coin sold for $336. Now this does not have an RPM, this has an OMM. So an OMM is a over mint mark. In this case, we have a D over an S mint mark. All right, so always pay attention to that as well. Again, you can look for that with your coin microscopes or coin loops available in the comments below. We also have this example here. The last coin sold for $336 because it was graded at a mint state 63 red brown. This next coin is graded at a mint state 66 red. This coin has the same exact thing, a D over an S mint mark. It's just in better condition. And instead of $300, this coin sold for $900. So the condition plays a huge factor, the grade, of course, uh, when determining the value of these coins. Now in 1944, we also have an RPM, a repunched mint mark to look for on the D mint mark. This coin sold for $192. Again, very obvious examples there for the 1944 D mint mark, Denver minted wheat penny. Uh, a lot, a lot of different RPMs, repunched mint marks to look for on that specific date. So make sure you search every single 1944 wheat penny you have for the repunched mint mark. Now in 1946, we have another over mint mark. So this is a S over a D mint mark this time instead of a D over an S. So you can see the D underneath the S mint mark there. Now that is a, a pretty valuable one. This coin ended up selling for $1,200, over a $1,000 penny there. Moving on to a 1947 S mint mark uh, that has an RPM, repunched mint mark. Now this is graded at a very nice grade, 66 plus red. The coin sold for over $275 at auction because of that. So San Francisco minted repunched mint mark there. Moving on to a later date, 1949. The D mint mark on this coin has been repunched. Here is an example of what you want to look for on the 1949 Denver minted wheat penny. This coin ended up selling for $288. Hey guys, we got brand new coin roll hunting cards. So everything that's on the coin roll hunting mats are on these brand new coin roll hunting cards. They are all laminated and they show you rare key dates and errors to look for. You can put them all in your pocket, your wallet, your purse on the go so you don't have to carry around 11 inch by 17 inch coin mat. But by the way, these coin mats are amazing guys. You can buy them in a bundle right now, discounted price. The rubber soft for your coins. They show you all the dates and errors to look for. You get all five of them as a bundle or you can buy them individually. I will have these items tagged to this video and also I will leave a link in the comments below if you guys want to pick up some coin roll hunting cards or the 
coin roll hunting mats. And don't forget guys, my book, A Guide to Coin Hunting and A Guide to Paper Money Hunting. I show you rare coins to look for, rare dollar bills to look for. Shows you all kinds of information on modern coins, older coins, silver coins, error coins, everything to look for, mint marks. Everything is in these books, guys. Feel free to pick them up at the link in the comments below. Just to sum it up, you can look for repunch mint marks on all kinds of different dates. I actually have some videos coming out this week uh, going through other dates from uh, other decades of repunched mint marks that you can look for on other coins. So not just pennies, not just 1940s, wheat pennies. You can look for this on a variety of different dated coins. And we're gonna look at that all throughout this week and the upcoming videos. So make sure you guys come back for that. And don't forget to hit those links in the comments below, guys, if you wanna get some coin collecting supplies. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.